guys, welcome back. Uh, this time, uh, we're going to take a look at what we're going to do with all this lava that we collected. Uh, the lava has since stopped flowing. Uh, we've, we've exhausted the entire supply. I actually went down to the bottom of the, the, the well that we kind of drilled, and uh, basically this, this is it. This is the last of it. So what I did was I kind of just bumped the bottom down here, and I, um, I stuck some waterproofed wooden pipe on the underneath and that doesn't connect to itself, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this guy. He's a geothermal generator, and basically what he's going to do for us is he's going to generate electricity from lava. Now, it's not the 100% the most efficient way of generating electricity in Minecraft. Um, however, it's going to generate enough that we should be able to uh, rely a little less on everything else, uh, namely all this wood that I've been pumping into the system. You can see this is just, it's, it's almost borderline absurd how much wood uh, those generators have been eating up. So we've got this geothermal generator and uh, what we're going to do underneath, uh, we're going to have some some iron uh, not iron, um... Oh, hello there. Voila. That's a very nice geothermal generator you've got there. Oh, you better not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, god damn. Every time I make... I swear to god. Every time I make a video, it starts raining. It's almost like there's somebody up there, the, the guy that controls weather, whether, I don't know if that's Notch or if that's, I don't know, some some big zombie in the sky or, or whatever. He hates me. Let me tell you, that motherfucker, just every, literally every time I make a video it rains. I could AFK for two hours, nothing, not a drop, you know? I, I open up, I open up fraps. I start making a video, what do you know? Anyway, we've got a good deal of power right now, um, but that's only because it was sunny and the machines weren't running. Um, whoops. Um, but now it's raining, and you can see the power level is... It's going up because we've got all this wood that we're burning, but, I mean, otherwise... Um, it, it's it's going to start going down. We just don't have enough power to maintain what we're doing with any significant uh, value. So you can see these guys are churning away and I mean I'm pumping all this wood in there but if I were to stop uh, all this all this electricity um, do these, yeah these can build up a charge a little bit. I'm just going to take this this wire out and you can see um, the power level dropping really really quickly. So just just so you know how important these guys, how, how important of a role those guys are playing. So basically what I'm going to do here um, in, in fact, I might as well, since I've got the, the waterproof pipe, and these are going to contain liquids, I might as well just toss these on here now, um, even though they don't have anything in them. We'll do something with them some other time. But the way this is going to work is, first off, we're going to make a bunch of... Um, bunch of gears in order to in order to make uh, uh, some of these electric engines. Um, interestingly enough, we're going to use electric engines to, to power uh, some of the things that are going to run our generator. Um, nothing there, nothing there. These guys are still going. Building up a little bit of charge. Uh, we're going to use... Oh, God, not enough stone. We need one more stone. One more stone. Here it comes. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, two more stone. That's perfect. We don't need that much, but it's good to have, just in case. Just for the hell of it. Uh, this is working like mad. Pump out some more. Uh, everything is just... Everything is working beautifully. So, uh, actually, I need to clean out my inventory. Let's clean out the inventory real quick. Toss this rubber in here. Toss this waterproofing and cactus in there. Sort that one. Sort that one. Oh, man, we got some tin ore. We got some gold ore. Put the tin ore in there and then turn that one 
going on. And then that'll cook. And what else do we got? Put the gold ore, got that. Alright, let's make our second set of gears. This is enough for one. We need a second gear. Oh, we have enough gears. We have plenty of gears. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So here's some stone gears. Now we have four stone gears. And we need to make them tin because when you make electric engines, everything electric engine related is made out of tin. Next thing we need is a piston. I think it's pistons, right? Uh, electric engine. Electrical engine. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple pistons. So we got the redstone. I think we got everything we need. Just gonna make two. Oh god, did I use all my wood? Tell me I used all my wood. Oh, I used all my wood. Okay. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll just we'll just steal some back. Um, that's fine. Uh, I could use the transmutation table, but the fact of the matter is, I I just I'm too lazy. Oh, we need more stones. We are gonna have to use a transmutation table. We need just... Oh, we have just enough so we can get some stone. <laughs> get some. And... Two of those, two of those, two... Oh! Two of those, two of those, two, two, two. So we got a bunch of pistons. So we got pistons. We got gears, got a couple of glass, and then a couple of tin across the top, and we've got two electric engines. And this will be good for uh, the two lava tanks that we've got. So I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one... Oh, that's not what I want. I don't want one powering the other. And so, uh, in order to make that right, we're going to get one of our wrenches. I don't know which one it is. We'll get all three. <laughs> just just for the hell of it. I'm pretty sure it's the gray one, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was the gray one. See? I, I'm doubting myself, and look what happens. So, um... <clears throat> what else do we need here? Well, we're going to need some wire to power the electrical engines. Uh, and you know what? Frankly, um... I think we could probably get away with just some some high voltage cable. Those guys can take 128, and uh, there's no use in there's no use in, in using the diamond cable just because uh, it's only going such a short distance. I mean, our our any unit is right there, and there's not going to be any significant penalty for um, for just transferring the, the the power this short of a distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it out, just like that. It's going to hook right up into our electrical engines. Now you're going to say, Basta, come on Basta, you know better than this. You need to give some redstone to those engines to tell them to turn on. And that is the, that is the truth. That is 100% accurate. Um, and I have not forgotten about that. Oh, oh come on. Oh, God damn this scroll wheel. Oh, there we go. Alright, I need a new mouse. Just gonna dig down a little bit and make some sticks. And I'm gonna use those sticks to make some levers. Oh god, that's so good. And what I'm gonna do, just right up right across. Look at how functional this is. And so now if I press that, it's gonna turn it on. But we don't want it to do that quite yet, because obviously, um, it's not hooked up to anything, and we don't want, we just don't want to piss away all our lava. Uh, but we know it works, so that's, that's good. So, let's go in here, and we'll grab some more cobblestone waterproof pipe. And the other thing we're going to have to do is make some stone waterproof pipe, because if we don't make some stone waterproof pipe, basically this whole thing is going to turn to shit. And the last thing we need is a shitty setup. So, uh, I'm going to pop... I don't know, half of this stack in here. Let's just take this out of here. And we'll turn this off. Because we don't even need it. 
We're just making some stone. This is good enough for now. Just come over here. Actually, I'm gonna. I don't think I programmed this into the transmutation table. There we go. Just in case we need stone in the future. Now we can just go straight to the transmutation table. And uh, 24 of them. That's more than enough. Uh, absolutely more than enough. And uh, that's that's all we really need uh, for that. So, um, what next? We need to waterproof it. And so that's probably not going to be enough. Let's toss some of this crap into our... into where it belongs. Add that needs to be macerated. Just turn that on. That'll be fine. Um, that there. Put that there. Um, we're going to need to make more waterproofing. Put this unused battery in that chest. Oh, boy. Um, wooden waterproof pipe. We're good on wooden waterproof pipe for now. Let's go... Let's go make this cactus. This cactus green. I'm just gonna get a bunch of it. It's really expensive, actually. And a cactus farm would probably be useful. But, to be honest, since we have our transmutation table, uh, it doesn't really do us a whole lot of good. So, that's... That's sufficient for our purposes right there. <clears throat> and just resort. Oh, this weather is so inclement. Alright, cobblestone. Oh, that's already waterproofed. Oh, we got all these wrenches in our. I didn't even see those in the hot bar. And oh, get them upside down. Alright, so now here's our stone waterproof pipe. <coughs> and basically. The idea is that we don't want uh, we don't want to really connect them uh, to each other uh, to each other. And by them, I mean uh, the lava and whatever we end up putting in these tanks here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put oh man, getting a little bit of whoa, getting a lot of lag. Holy crap! What is this? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this and find out what this lag is and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, my computer just randomly decided that it was a great time to glitch out, so um not sure why that happened. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. But uh, basically what we're gonna be doing here is creating kind of a actually we probably want these to be separate, don't we? Um, maybe I should kind of alternate them. Alternate stone, cobblestone, stone, cobblestone, you know? Hmm. I guess then you'd have to join it up with iron. Um, I'm not really sure what iron pipes do. Uh, I would imagine that they're probably useful. Let's take that off of there. I don't, I don't actually know how I'm going to hook those ones up, um, or whether I'm going to hook them up in this direction. I might hook them up in that direction. I'll extend over that way. Uh, yeah, that would actually probably be the most sensible thing, to extend it over that way. Um, let me check and see what kind of pipes I need to use, because I know that there's a bunch of different kinds of pipes, and uh, I'll be right back again. Yeah, I was right. Uh, I shouldn't have second-guessed myself, and I, I probably do with building some of just about everything anyway. Uh, so I, I'm just going to build a few of these iron pipes, and basically what they do, uh, from what I can understand from the documentation anyway, is they have five inputs and one output. And so the one output is going to be... Um, the one output is going to be to this guy, and the inputs are going to be from these tanks. So, uh, actually, I could probably just um, put one here, right? Maybe not. Um, wrench. Can I? How do I? Oh, it needs to be waterproof. Might be. 
Um, do I have any waterproofing on me? Yes, I do. I have some waterproofing right there. So, the ultimate goal of all of this, again, is, is basically to have a somewhat limitless supply of, uh, of wa uh, electricity. As it stands right now, uh, that's something that I, I completely lack. Alright, so you can see now, uh, these two are coming in on this white side, and then this dark side is going to head over, and I think this is the right one. Oh, crap, it's not. Um, oh, it stopped raining, too. It's, it's lovely. Nighttime, a little breeze, a little breezy. And so basically uh, what's going to happen is, is these, these tanks are going to pump their lava into the generator. Uh, it's going to go up into the bottom of the generator, <clears throat> and then the generator is going to generate electricity from the lava. And hopefully this works. If it does, I don't, I don't want to say I'll be ecstatic, but I'll be, I'll be pretty happy with it. That, that's, that's a pretty big step forward. So let's try with the kind of the lesser filled one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And let's see if this works. Hopefully we have enough electricity left to operate this pump, make the pump operational. Because again, these are electric engines on the bottom, and I don't think we do, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the transmutation table. Damn, the, once again, the, the Minecraft tax, if you will. I probably could have gotten away with some redstone engines, but, you know, I'm trying to be creative here, trying to show you guys some new stuff that maybe you haven't seen before. And in the process, I'm shooting myself in the foot. I had some wood all along. Uh, let's turn this into planks. And we'll put some of these planks, half of them in here, half of them in there. Oh, God. That should be the last time. Oh, look, there it goes. So now that it's got electricity, it's pumping all of that great lava up into this. And it's just taking it and... Actually, let's see what happens if we take the wood out of here. It's still getting power. Beautiful. Oh, look. Look at that. It's filling up. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is a lot of lava that we're pumping into this. I hope it can handle it. Because if it can't... Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a spider jockey. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, my... How does... What are the fucking odds? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my... Oh, my... Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's like the... The third one I've ever seen in my entire life. And it just... Oh, God, look at all the lava we've used. That's a lot of lava. I wonder if we could just keep it on or whether it's going to... Or whether that would be a bad thing. I mean, it's generating a lot of power. I don't even think we'll need to keep it on all the time, to be honest. Um, so this is going to send out a redstone signal. Um, emit if partially filled. Emit if empty. So what we can do, I think, is somehow, eventually, uh, I don't want to do it now, um, but sometime in the future, if we get to a point where you know, we don't want to be generating geothermal energy all the time, but we want to generate it sometimes uh, when we don't have enough electricity. We can have this guy output a redstone signal, and that redstone signal will go down, turn on the electrical engine down below, and that'll pump some lava in and generate some electricity, and then um, once it's got, I guess, enough electricity, it'll, it'll shut itself back off. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this is this is fantastic. So, uh, I don't actually think that there's anything else I want to show you guys. We've we've kind of got our semi-limitless supply of energy, just because there's so much power. Look at all that power. That's more than one original bat box can handle on its own. 
that's that's a lot. And so I'm gonna let that go. Um, I'm probably not gonna AFK. But next time what we'll do is we'll see about uh, retrofitting this pipeline and going in and harvesting some of that oil that we saw. Uh, the oil wells over there, uh, 300 meters away. We'll go and we'll pump all that oil and uh, we'll have a good time doing it, damn it. And so uh, until then, uh, I've been Basta and I hope, you, I hope you liked watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure you like it. And thanks for watching and have a good night.